What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the 5th beta of macOS Sequoia Beta 5. And in this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. Alright, so the first you can see right off the bat is that we have a brand new default wallpaper. It is Sequoia, California, it's specifically the national park there. It shows off the trees since the trees are pretty big inside Sequoia which is why Sequoia is significant. However, quick warning about the wallpaper is that you won't be able to change it at least for right now because the wallpaper cannot be found. And this does animate like it does with the wallpapers introduced inside of macOS 14. It looks really nice. I like it quite a bit. So let me know what you think about this wallpaper down in the comments down below. Now the next change inside the latest beta of Sequoia is that the dynamic wallpaper section now says Sequoia right here. Whereas before it would just say macOS beta, probably because for a while the developers did not know what this version of macOS would be called, so they just labeled this macOS beta. And let's move on to the next change, and we got a pretty big change inside this latest beta. The next change inside this latest beta of macOS 15 is that if we click on this button right here and click on hide distracting items, we have a pretty cool new feature where you could click and we'll just hide that specific element on that web page. For example, if I want to get rid of that and this other ad, man, there are a ton of ads now, I realize it, on Mac Rumors. You're just able to click it, and then once you're ready, you just press on done, and then you just have removed all the distracting elements. And you can do the same thing on the web pages as well. If I want to hide this, or this, or this, or this, just so I have this page. It's an alternative to the reader view right here that you, that you could also use. I really like this feature. It kind of kills off ad block for me because I could just click and remove the ads. They also won't show back up. Now, ad developers might find a way to get around this change, but as of right now, you just are going to be able to enjoy no ads on websites now. I really like this feature. Honestly, one of the best additions of this update, and it has a really cool animation. Now, the next change is inside the messages app right here so if you right click on a certain message and then and then hover over an element now have a really nice hover effect in which i really like a lot hovering just to give you a little more feedback as to what you're about to click not much else with this feature but it just looks a lot nicer now that we have a hover. now the next change that we got inside this latest beta of mac os 15 is that we got a brand new splash screen for the app store specifically we got an app downloads improvement part of the splash screen which is pretty nice to see Alright, let's talk about RAM usage and storage usage inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia. So in beta 4 was 4.6GB, and on beta 5 it's now 5.1GB, unfortunate increase. Now going to storage usage inside of beta 4, it was 27 gigabytes, and in beta 5, I'm sure it's going to be about the same. It's 35 gigabytes. What? I'm just as confused as you. We'll hopefully see why in a future beta. Maybe Apple will get it down to the next beta. I went really wait just is still broken here. However, it is partially fixed inside of 15.1. However, the App Store version will be completely fine. Just letting you know right there. Now, that is everything I could find inside this latest beta of macOS 15. Let me know what you think about this beta down in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!